like, who's that? Who are you? Join the team. <laughs> I'm a grown ass man. Put me down, bro. Put me down. I need you to join the team, bro. Kobe. Hey, yo, what the? Bring the dulled blade that it left you in care to Ambrios. Set that as the priority. Really? I'm not throwing I'm not throwing your bone, dude. No, thank you. You need a hug or something, dude? Come on. Come on. Don't 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 be shy, bro. BBL Drizzy. You got BBL? You got fat butt? Fat butt, fat butt, fat butt. You don't like me talking about your butt. About to play three hours of traveling across the map? Probably. I don't know you. Let us dispense with pleasantries and cut to the heart of the matter. I have a task that requires someone of your skill and discretion some days ago. A fiend attack. Will you catch this villain in my stead? Sure. My deepest thanks. Do I have to come here at a certain time of day? That's another annoying thing about this game that like I feel like pads it. I traveled across the world. I go there and like, oh, it's not the right time of day. At least there should be like a pop-up message like, hey, you need to come back in the morning. You're tracking the wrong quest. Whoops. Shadow players. Find the individual who matches the scoundrel's description and foil the desert plot. Okay, never heard of this game before. Dragon's Dogma 2. This is a time-based quest. That's fun. What time of day does it need to be before I go over there? Bruh. Majesty, how could this have happened? Oh, shit. How you let the Empress die? I didn't even do anything. I don't know why she died. Now is not the time to. I mean, I let her die. I didn't do anything. Solidarity. We must Goofy not let ass the game. Empress's death be in vain. What are we to do without her? You're supposed to watch out for the assassin. And you know it sucks. I can't reload the game. I don't care. I'm just trying to beat this game. Fuck the Empress. Do you think this game drops a 10 out of 10 scale the more you play it? It was never a 10 to me anyway. Okay, this has got to be the way. Dun, 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 dun. This is the fucking. Shark music, the Jaws music. I slayed that dragon. Oh, piece of candy. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles down there. This is not New York. This has got to be Florida, that big ass gator they got. I would say the game not telling you what to do and expect you to figure it out only gets worse from here. To me, that's just like padding the game. No, 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 this is all wrong. I don't know how I feel about entering the room with him being bent over the counter. Have you some business with me? Yes, here. This, but why do you possess such a thing? Because I'm him. Where did you obtain it? Don't ask, don't tell. Worm's life crystals can only be obtained from Drake. Drake? I suppose I'm in no position to decline. Come by again tomorrow. By then, I will have produced a God's way of unparalleled quality. I have to come back tomorrow. Okay. All right, so now we got to progress time and then come back down. Like, to me, that's just mad extra, man. Yeah, just padding the fuck out the game. Jesus. All right, where's my house at? Uh... Do I have to go the other way to get to my house? Remember the first was a cult classic? Come on, this game? Yeah, you don't have to sleep. He said, come back tomorrow. I got to pass time. I mean, I could, I could, you know, sit on the bench, but there's no benches nearby. <laughs> that sounds crazy. No benches. Downstairs? I'm going down, down. Oh, it is finished. No, oh, I cannot leave this in your hands. He getting horny off that sword. What the hell? Who is he? Is he one of the Heartless from Kingdom Hearts? Wait, uh, Yeah, he breathing all hard over the desk. I've changed my mind. So Force goes his Anakin. You take it. Deliver the blade to Lord Faces. So somebody's influencing him. Make haste for Moonglint Tower. So can I see that demon is influencing him? There the journey will come to an end. Is this the last mission? What does he mean it'll come to an end? The next mission is long. No diddy. <laughs> oh, no diddy, dude. <laughs> Be careful, teenager. The next mission is long. Where are we delivering? Uh, okay, it's not too far. Okay. For once, I don't gotta run across the whole goddamn map to do a mission. Jeez. Meanwhile, what? Okay. What does that mean? Like... Hope your curiosity will be rewarded. All these transitions are really weird in the story. Oh shit. What am I fighting? Way to ruin a moment. A big ass boss ass creature comes out of the ocean, right? I have to run to it, but it's gonna take forever to get to it because I don't know if you noticed, but my stamina bar is going down. So I gotta manage my stamina. You got this intense ass music, but it's gonna take forever for me to get there. This is so anticlimactic. When we get to the cool moment. Level design looks good though right here. Is this the end? It feels like it's climaxing. Is this the end chat? Did I accidentally get to the end? Yep. Oh shit. Wait, who's that? Who are you? Join the team. 
<laughs> I'm a grown ass man. Put me down, bro. Put me down. I need you to join the team, bro. Kobe. Hey, yo, what the this really is the ending. This was a really anticlimactic entrance to like the final moment. I dead ass thought you were doing a side quest. Like the way the quest is set up is just really weird. Tis not supposed to be faced by oh, Killmonger. That's our friend. What are these transitions? Do I go this way? Attack the spikes on the body when you get a chance. Magic archer made it very easy. I figured the big red glowing things was the weakness, but I don't, I'm not an archer, so I have to figure out a different way here. I got an achievement. I didn't, what did I do? I'm not gonna lie, this ending is confusing. I feel like this ending is very abrupt. Can I hit him? All right, we stab it. Stab it. Is that what I do? I stab it? I'm about to die. Oh, shout out to Shadi. What's good? I love you, Artemis. I like, okay, what? In terms of stamina, though, how the fuck am I supposed to beat this dude? Screws have wake stones. Okay, so if I fall, I can still revive. I gotta get that first one then. Oh, there's one on his ankle. There we go. Boom. Like a big ass dildo. I'm not gonna lie, this boss fight is really disappointing. This fucking sucks. For all the creative things it did, like this is the final boss fight. It's not the final boss. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't have the stamina, man. I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna fall. I don't have the stamina for this. He walks for a long time. Yeah, I see. Okay, this gets me up there. Gotta sit here and wait for my stamina to come back. Stab it up. Step it up. You doing it the hard way? What's the easy way, bro? Let a brother know. Come on. Come on! I know we had guns on us. Oh. I <laughs> guess not. Hello. Use it. What a fun fucking fight, man. Man, it sure would be nice to have a bow and arrow right about now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not having any fun at all. This is a whack-ass mission. What was the point of grinding my character just to force me to use a gun? Yeah, just to get nerfed. Oh, you're not, you're missing the point. To me, this is bad gameplay design. I just grinded my character for nothing. How long you gotta hold this shit for? And of course, he needs multiple shots. I wish I could reload this shit. I didn't notice the guns right away, which once again, I still argue it's bad gameplay design. What's the point of grinding my character if you're gonna force me to do this dumbass shit? Oh, he fell, whatever. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, cause my, I have an archer. I thought the archer was gonna shoot the shit. Like, bro, what the fuck? Oh, he doesn't fall? Like, damn, I should have made a fucking archer, man. I feel like the AI is not doing anything either. All right, let me rest. Come on. Get up there. This this fight looks ass. It's not fun at all. Even even if I knew to shoot the guns early on, it's still not a fun fight. Like it's just ass. Come on. Is he gonna shoot me off? What are you doing? Bow down, bitches. Gotta wait for my stamina. Oh, my fucking God. I don't have the stamina for this shit. Stamina. Can we hurry up? Stamina. Uh, Just squirting all over me, bro. What the fuck? I don't even know where the other ones are at. His eye. He's got one on his eye. Stab him right in the fucking... Are you kidding me, dude? Why don't you climb, you son of a bitch? Okay. I might have to... Uh, Yeah, I might have to go down and look because i don't know where else it is on his body where is the damage the knee maybe no we got the knee yeah i'm doing a whole autopsy this fucking fight sucks man and i'm gonna be honest i would have uninstalled this shit if i wasn't at the end of the game this shit is ruining the game for me trust i had the same feeling like this is so disappointing now what nigga i killed everything brings a dagger to a golem fight nigga shut up don't put the class in the game if you're not gonna make it viable 
do you want the secret ending or do you want to finish the game? The secret ending doesn't end the game. I don't care about the secret ending of the game. I'm not going to lie. I fucking hate this ending. I think I'm ready to go back to Rise of Ronin. Like, the last probably 10 hours of this game has been really bad for me. Yeah, your experience is how I felt, too. This game was not worth the 12-year wait for me. I know the feeling of grinding. Yeah, I think that's why I'm pissed off. I spent all that time grinding my character just for it not to matter and do some bullshit-ass boss fight. Like, to me, that's just bad gameplay design. Wait till you see the last boss. It's not just that fight. The transitions and the way the story is told, it all feels very undercooked. My it feels like they got halfway through making this game and they were just like, eh, we're tired of making it. Fuck it. Let's just throw something together at the end. That's the way it feels right now. It feels very underbaked. I would say the first half of this game felt like a nine, but ha the second half, it's dropped a point for me. Like This is like an eight at best. Like this second half of the game feels really undercooked. Man, this shit is a six to me. Damn. And you was the one that was trying to get me to do the secret ending. You gave this shit a six? I'm not gonna lie, like a part of me kind of want to give it like a 7.5. This fucking ending sucks. This is why I say in my videos too, this is just a first impression. How I feel about it towards the end of the game might be different. Like this shit is ruining it. Yeah, like look at this transition right here. Yeah, these fucking Windows Movie Maker ass transitions. Shit popping up in my face. Usually when I'm unsure about a game, I watch TV Ace Play for this exact reason. Well, I'm at the end of the game, so if anybody cares about spoilers, I didn't expect to be at the end of the game. Now I'm trying to beat it. But when someone finally does come along... Is Killmonger a op for real? You. I've always wanted a real fight with you. I thought he was cool. Here's my chance. This is so fucking funny, bro. They gave this nigga a Killmonger haircut, and he's really Killmonger. This is crazy. Yeah, and I vouched for him. Shut your ass. So Ragnall, master, we've not had a response. Fuck your shield. Part of ways at the cave. Yet there he stands. This was a rotten life. Woof! What a tough fight, guys. Woof! Uh, Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Wakanda. So the power of the fucking Beyblade. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh, he died. I, I, I can revive him, right? Come back, black man. See what happens when you're not nerfed. I love that shit. That's why I grind my character. You back, black man. You just gonna walk away? I didn't. You just came back from death, bro. You got me. So this is a character that was pretty important through the story. You help him. At the end, he wants you to fight him. I kill him. I revive him. And all he has to say is, "Uff, you helped me." Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Seven out of ten. I'm whoa, dropping whoa, it from whoa, an eight. Whoa, seven. Whoa. It was a nine at first. The first half of the game. Uh, it dropped to an eight with all the fucking traversal and the lack of fucking fast travel. One mission is on this side of the map. You got to go to the other side of the map and keep doing this shit. Then you have stupid shit like this. The fucking boss fight. Like, come on, bro. Seven. That's lazy. Why give me the option to revive him? I'm thinking it's gonna do something for the story you gave me an achievement for it why why yeah and then you can't even recruit him like that's lazy that's fucking lazy these windy windows movie maker fucking transitions you said a seven is generous i feel like a seven is still fair based off what i played because i'm not gonna sit up here and act like i didn't have fun but like this ending is pissing me off it especially pisses me off based off of what he said before the game came out when he was talking about games with no fast travel that kind of cocky attitude nigga you should have focused on the second half of this game because this second half is lazy bro i'm off the ashwagandha rage bro, my dick is not hard what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> uh, just did, are you telling on yourself uh, are you on the ashwagandha i think he comes to help in the true ending but it's not worth anything of note oh my god yeah no diddy bro i wasted a wake stone for him yeah, it was mad cocky for him to give that interview and talk about other people's games like that like bro look at your game everyone's travel system is as they boring mine's fire yeah like get the fuck out of here bro another movie maker uh movie maker transition your will is mine to command i'm mad i just wasted a wake stone i might have needed that oh y'all that's what y'all doing we jumping oh what the fuck nah i might need that oh they jumping they not strong but they are jumping drop a heal where's my healer at oh he can jump this knocked me bro it took my healer out instantly that's one let me give me that there we go. Momentum shift. You fucking bitch. They're shooters, man. They're shooters. Killmonger would have been nice right about here. This is a problem. Bruh, it's... This is... And then you got a whack-ass boss fight with fucking just... 
Shooters everywhere. Oh my god. Oh, give me that. Huh? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck was huh? that? What the fuck is going on? Did I win? Yo, you <laughs> what is happening? Did I win? Your pawn killed the main guy. Oh, okay. LOL, I was looking just like you, bro. Yo, I'm so glad that people in the chat are validating me. It is not just the fucking Twitch chat. I see it in the fucking, uh, shout out to the TikTok. Y'all being cool today. People in the TikTok chat are saying the same thing. Like, everybody's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> then answer me this. Is it Where did he get the black guy from? We left him in the tunnel. How, where did he get Killmonger? Yo, what is going on? <laughs> I offer thee a choice. He would still have him if you didn't revive him. So it was supposed to change because I killed him late. This is lazy. This is lazy. He had a girl I romanced. I think you romanced Killmonger by accident. Wow. So when I killed him, I actually fucked him. No, did he? That's crazy. And now the dragon is, what do we do? Face the dragon. This is making my head hurt. I am facing you. What do we do? Hit him. I hit him. He said, mmm, intriguing. <laughs> Yo, the diddler, the diddler dragon. Whoa. We must fulfill our charges. What you mean by that? Whoa. Riding the dragon, no diddy. You fast travel to the tail. This is where you do the secret ending. How I avoid that shit, I am not trying to do it. I'm over this game. This is an uninstall chat. I don't think I've seen a game in this bad before. This is crazy. Two hours later. Climb to his chest. Why? Can I fall off and just die? Oh, can I stab him? That's the secret ending. Oh, I had to stab it, right? I didn't do it. Okay. Is this the secret ending? Me fighting the fucking dragon? Or is this the normal? Nah, this the normal. All right. I'm not doing that secret shit, bro. Do I, is my teammates not here? Where, where did you niggas come from? So the ending, so the game ends with you fighting a dragon that you fought 10 times already. This is crazy. You gonna drop? Sir? If he flies away, I'm gonna lose it. I'm turning the game off if he flies away. Hello? Hello? I'm turning the game off if he flies away. Hello? What the fuck? Is he coming back? Are you gonna come down, dude? This is padding the fuck out the game. Let's make a boss where you can't fight him 80% of the time. Oh my God, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this epic ass music to watch a nigga do a drive by. This is crazy. You done, dude? I don't even think the archer could hit him from that distance. Oh, you can shoot. You got a gun. Okay, hold up. Only Sonic. What up, Incognito? Yeah. Any. Okay. There another one. My mental health is deteriorating right now. Oh my god. And it didn't even hit. I'm about to die. I didn't even do no damage. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm at the end, Siggy. Unfortunately, you might want to close your eyes. This shit sucks. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know if you wanna if you wanna make it to the end. Take care, they do not catch you unaware. What the fuck? Y'all explain to me how I'm supposed to dodge that in my face when the frame rate's going at five seconds. This is hilarious. I was going through the same shit. It validates everybody's feelings because, like, I can imagine a lot of y'all playing this shit, shit at home. Fucking y'all probably like, yo, am I a hater? Like watching me play like, yo, nah, this shit sucks. Like, <laughs> it's literally the first game redone story-wise. 
Is it really? So yeah, I only ever played the first one. I had a friend who had it, but I never like beat it. I only played it. So I didn't, I wasn't familiar with the story like that. Please die, 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 please die. I don't want the different ending. I'm, I'm done with this game. I'm I've mentally checked out. I'm done with this game. Yeah, I'll YouTube it. Why does this nigga talk so much? Sir Yappington. gave a whole monologue before he died. Fuck your mama, fuck your daddy, fuck your sister, fuck your pet. Ugh. <laughs> Wait. <that's laughs> oh shit. We went, I, I don't get to talk to my pawns. That's the end. This fucking movie maker ass transition. Black man. Like we don't even high five the pawns and shit. Good job. Like we made it. Like just like, what the fuck is that? Is he talking? Is that a glitch? There's no audio in the final cutscene? Or like voice acting, was that out of the budget? No, it's no audio in that part. That's crazy. You see my fucking body? You see who say the city? Get on my dick, big lion style, boy. Leo season, boy, summertime. I'll take my seat on the throne, pussy. Is that the end? Does anybody else see the ghost? There's a ghost in the room. Does anybody else see the ghost? Am I the only one that sees the ghost? Why did you Whoa! <laughs> that shit was hella ditty. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I didn't visit. <laughs> Don't talk to her a second time. It resets the ending. Can I speed up the credits? Is there anything else? Which ending was worse, this or Hogwarts Legacy? They might be on par, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It might be this one, cause I, you know what? I didn't have as high of an expectation for Hogwarts Legacy than this game. Like this one might be worse because I had an expectation for it and I was enjoying the game. That's it? Like, what the fuck, bruh? This dumbass game, bruh. Talk to the ghost, man. If they restart that damn boss fight, I'm turning this game the fuck off. You would still resist your fate. Thou wishest to dismantle the world's will. Just I thought I was supposed to talk to the dude to just speed up the the, the credits, but y'all just made me go back to the fucking dragon. I don't know, that's cool. That's cool. <sighs> I'm literally in shock at what I just played. I literally can't believe what I just played. So here's my first piece of advice. If you hear somebody say that Dragon's Dogma 2 is a great game, make sure to ask them how far did they get in the game? Did you, like, did you beat the game? Because the first half of the game is really fun, but the second half of the game is a hot mess, man. A hot mess. I've never seen a game fall off this fucking hard in my life, bro. First of all, let's talk about this motherfucker. The developer, he put out a quote talking about I don't want to hear that Sonic shit right now. Shout out to you, Mathner, for the subs. I appreciate it. This nigga put out a quote saying a game doesn't need fast travel. If your game, if your game needs fast travel, it's fucking boring. This shit was boring. I had to travel from the East Coast to the West Coast to do one mission. Then when I wanted to turn the mission in, I had to go from the West Coast to the East Coast, back down South. At bare minimum, put a horse in the game. It didn't bother me too much the first half, but by the second half of the game, like 50 hours in, bro, can we get fast travel without all that extra fairy stone bullshit? But that's not even the worst thing. That was like my main complaint about the game. The, that final mission was fucking Basuda. That shit was ass. First of all, you got the movie maker, the Windows movie maker transitions. Those are some of the worst transitions I've seen in a recent AAA game that I've seen in a while. 
the shit would just do a random cutscene and fade the black to some random other shit. That boss fight with the fucking giant sucked. You made a boss fight that essentially only archers can fight, otherwise the rest of us takes forever. Unless you notice the dumbass guns. So th here's the, also the issue with the boss fight, right, too? You made a game where you had like 10 different classes, but only one class was really efficient against that damn giant. I'm over here breathing on the guy. I'm, I'm climbing a monster. <laughs> I'm climbing. Out of breath, I fell. Now I'm at this nigga's ankles. I gotta climb again and again and again and again and again and again and again. That shit was not fun. Who thought of that? Let's make a boss where only the archer can hit him efficiently. I grinded to like level 50 something for no reason. <laughs> then we get to the final boss fight. This nigga Killmonger pulls up on me. I kill him. I revive him. I get not one, but two achievements. Why? I go over to talk to Killmonger. He says, huh. Nigga. That shit was lazy. Lazy. You had a real opportunity to change the story. Otherwise, why the fuck did you give me the achievements? He could have joined the fight. Altered the timeline. Maybe we started riding dragons and shooting fire together and shit. Maybe Wakanda pulled up. You kill this nigga. You revive him. You get two achievements. And what does he say? Ooh. Like he's fucking Rick Ross. You could at least say thank you, nigga. What the fuck? I'm okay, dude. I'm okay. My dog is concerned about my mental health. Then we get to the fucking... The final... I'm okay. I'm okay. Come here. Come here. It's my mental health, bro. This damn ass game. Then we get to the final boss fight and guess what it is, dude? Guess what it is? It's another dragon. We fought 10 dragons already, right? Right? We fought 10 dragons. The final boss fight is a mini boss fight that you do like 10 times in the game already. The only difference is he's slightly bigger, but the attack pattern is exactly the same. In the path to fight, they made the nigga fly and you had to wait for him to come back. I could have finished that fight in like five minutes. It took 15 because this nigga had a fly away. Then you beat the dragon. You get another Windows Movie Maker cheap ass transition to where the city's clapping at you. And, oh, and by the way, what was the final cutscene about? They don't even talk in the final cutscene. This is crazy. Yo, the final cutscene is not, yo, congratulations, thank you for saving Earth, nigga. The final cutscene is, what that mean? What does that mean? And, it, and I think what makes it worse is it goes back to that quote he had in that article, the director. You have the nerve to talk about other people's games being boring because they don't have fucking fast travel. Nigga, shut up forever. You need to put fast travel in your game and you need to put some voice acting in your game. Elden Ring was great and it had fast travel. The average gamer is 35 plus years old and you know what? In the next five to 10 years, I wouldn't be surprised if the average goes up to 40 because gamers are getting older. Niggas got wives, husbands, kids, school, work. I got a puppy. If I'm lucky enough to have sex one day, I might have some kids, but no sex before marriage. The point is fast travel. It's nothing wrong with it being optional in a game. It doesn't rule. It's a fucking single player game. Fuck them ox carts, nigga, because half the time you get in the ox cart, you get attacked by a griffin. It's not fun. It's not fun. But honestly, what pisses me off the most, that ending was horrible. That was up there with Hogwarts legacy in terms of if you would have asked me in the first half of playing this game, I would have said this shit is immaculate. Game of the year contender. Um, it started off as a nine. 
Then the lack of fast travel really started to get to me about halfway through, knocked it down to an eight. That ending with Killmonger, when he said, oh, like fucking Rick Ross, seven. After the boss fight, I'm knocking it to a 6.5. I have to do it, 6.5, I have to do it. I'm And I'm trying to be nice, but this is insane. You designed a boss fight that only benefits one of the classes in the game. That's insane behavior, man. I, uh, I, I, I can't believe what I played. I can't believe what I just fucking played. This shit is, it's not, I thought at bare minimum this game, by the time I got to the end of this game, I felt like, I didn't feel like I was playing a game of the year, but I felt like I was playing a game of the year nomination. This shit better not get nominated. This is not a game of the year nomination. This is a, it's not a fuck this game. I'd recommend playing it if you want to when the price drops. And, and, and I mean, like, make sure you got some free time, okay? Don't be a responsible citizen with a, with a family, a job, going to school, pets. You got to make sure you wear a diaper when you play this game. Because you're going to be running from the East Coast to the West Coast. From London to New York. From Russia to China. When you play this game. So you know what we got to do. Big fucking uninstall. This is crazy. This is a travesty. And the way people shit on Rise of the Ronin, which I get, Rise of the Ronin has its issues. The way people shit on Rise of the Ronin, did, did you, did y'all, did y'all beat this game? Oh, I'll, I'll well, the article came out. 60% of gamers don't play new games anyway, so I know most of y'all didn't beat it. Because there's no way, there's no way you beat this game and felt good about that ending. That was a waste of fucking time. A waste of time. My dog needs to go outside. He's concerned about my mental health. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say bye.